Those right there. Yeah. Complete aerosol. Were those cool in here? Yeah. Well, the sneakers weren't cool yeah. for our age, like your age, when I was in school. What was cool? Like, like okay, like the the coolest thing was like for for boys was probably like Nike shocks. Um. Like that was like the coolest thing but now all these soy boys these, these gators they're liking all these name brand all this kind of stuff because they follow all these weirdos on the internet so that now they're more in tune with style and so now they're liking all this really expensive stuff and when we were kids you can attest to that right like the big thing for boys it wasn't like these high-end sneaker companies yeah. or these rare vintage sneakers it was like if you had a set of Nike shocks like that was pretty much as high as you could go for people that, that would actually notice and care if you walk in like if Balenciaga I'm sure they were a company back when I was a kid if I would have walked into school with those no one would care or notice or even know what it was and if I told them they wouldn't believe me you know what I'm saying yeah. I wore Cads and Converse. <laughs> yeah. I wore special shoes too. I, to say, I wanted to say that, but I didn't know if I should. <laughs> Cads was the first shoe, cheese shoe to come out. Yeah. Really? You want a piece of cheesecake? No, no. Okay, yeah, that challenge pretty sweet. You could be a shoe called Hush Puppies. Yeah. I remember those kind of problems. And Tom McAdams. That was so funny when Tom McAdams beat a pop. Told Rand to say oh, thank you to everybody. Would you get that sandwich? To give you an idea, I wore a pair of like two hundred dollars hey, Doc Martin boots and was made fun of. I forgot. I want so, some of that. I want some school. Like that. Yeah. So it's like people didn't know. People didn't know. Of course, I was probably wearing them with like cargo pants yeah. or something. And like a Pokemon shirt. Nina got you those? No, I think Jonathan gave one to me. They were oh. some of those. Mm -hmm. What about Air Max 97? Are those the ones that just. I don't like all that pink nonsense. Really? Yeah. I don't I think like, I do either. I like simple. It's I don't good. know if I like that color. I don't know. I can't. Can I, I do, but I don't want the same color. I like simple. These are 170. Want some of this? Yeah. Mine. I like yeah. simple. Oh, my goodness. Mine. Now, there are some, like, Mine. colorful, flashy kind of things that I like, but for the most part, yeah. simple's the way to go. Simple. Yeah, you know, okay. Good shape. I can't wear shoes with like little thin soles anymore because I have really bad shin splits from up the heel. So I have to get some. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not supposed to wear these at all. You need to get one of those um, rollers that you can roll on. Mm -hmm. What's happening is there's a, a, a fascia, a fascia, a fascia that goes around that muscle mm -hmm. that's on the front of your. What's that? Um, Tibia? Yeah. So that muscle that runs down the front of your tibia, it has a, fa a fascia around it, which is like this really thin membrane that goes around that muscle. And what's happening is your fascia is smaller than your muscle, and, it, and your fascia doesn't really want to expand. So what happens is when it starts to expand, it causes that, that pain to shoot through your yeah. leg. So what you have to do, I would use, when I was running a lot, I would take a rolling pin, and roll it on, on my. It hurts. I'm telling you though, if you do that, just roll it down through there as hard as you can. And I have pain I got on the inside right there. This is to have little like stress fractures in my tibia too. Oh man. This, we run so, you should see it. We, our, the sprints we run, we run so much in the gym and outside in the track, it's so bad. It hurts so bad. And you're probably running incorrectly. Are you running heel toe? Mm -hmm. Pay attention, because if you're doing that, what you're doing is oh, you're, I don't run you run on your t on your balls of your feet. Okay, 
Because that's like what's. What, Some people run flat footed. Like, I don't get it. What can happen is when you, you're doing like that with your ankle, so you're flexing that muscle, just flexing it, and flexing it, and flexing it, and flexing it, so that muscle gets gets swollen. Blood flows to there because you're breaking the muscle down and it has to heal, so it floods it with. Uh, blood, and it's trying to stretch that face out. Your face is not going to stretch. You have to get down there with a rolling pin and roll it out. Yeah. Remember when I was doing that? I ain't fitting a lot. That time. I don't lie. I don't lie, Haley. Okay.